Hello children, how has this week been for you? Did you have a restful weekend? Or have you been busy studying for your exams or having other commitments? I hope that through all of this that you were able to take a moment and thank God for the many blessings that he has showered upon you. And also I hope that you've taken a little time to listen to what he has to tell you. Definitely, my dear children, God has something to share with each one of us every single day. So, my dear children, today I like to take your attention to our parents and see what God is teaching us today about them. Now, according to our lectionary, we mark this Sunday in March as Parenting Sunday. There is a special verse in the Bible that speaks about our relationship with our parents. Now, what is this Bible verse? Do you remember the fifth commandment in the Bible? Now, if you don't, I want you to quickly go grab your Bible and quickly turn your Bible to Exodus chapter 20 and read verse 12. In verse 12 in Exodus chapter 20 it says, Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Now at times I know we question God as to why we have parents and some other times we wish if we had a friend's parents because we think that they're really cool and that we go get along with them so much. Also there are times when we are so happy that we got the best parents in the world. Now don't think you're a horrible child because you had these thoughts running in you. I myself have had moments like this. But I haven't let them grow in me because I quickly remember this verse in the Bible, in the Ten Commandments which God has given to us to honor our parents who do so much for us. Now how do we honor our parents? Certainly we have to take to heart the good advice that they give us. Take it seriously as it comes from people who have got greater experience of life than our own selves. We also honor our parents by respecting them, by not overpowering our voice over their loving advice. We can also honor our parents by helping them in carrying out little tasks around our home like arranging your study area or putting things back from where you took it. Those little things also can mean ways of, as to how you could honor your parents. But most importantly, we honor our parents by being loving children to them. Especially during these time, difficult times, it's very important that we understand our parents more because they are going through a lot to keep you and me happy as well as alive. Do not add extra pressure on them by being hard on them and not obeying simple instructions that they would be giving to you. The best example we have about obeying our parents and guardians would be of God the Son who became incarnate 2000 years ago. And we are told that he was obedient to his parents, Mary and Joseph. They were not perfect parents, yet they were loving. They were very poor as you know, but their horizons were and their horizons were so limited and Jesus, Jesus was not at all like that but still 
he was obedient to them all the time because they were loving parents and he lived under their roof for about 30 years and even at when he was being crucified if you remember Jesus hands over his mother to one of his most trusted disciples and asks that disciple to take care of her all of this about Jesus it definitely shows how obedient he has been to his parents, my dear children. Now the Apostle Paul in the letter to the Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. It is important to understand why the Apostle Paul quoted this to the Ephesians children first. So I want you to understand why he said this. So in the Roman Empire, children were often afraid of their fathers. A Roman father had absolute authority over his family. So he could sell them as slaves, he could take the law into his own hands, if he, and if, he could even decide whether he wanted to keep his child in the first place. But Apostle Paul did not tell the Ephesian children to obey their parents to avoid being rejected. So basically he didn't tell the Ephesian children to obey their parents just because to avoid being rejected. Rather he told them to do so because of the fifth commandment to honor your father and mother. And by pointing to this commandment, Ephesians 6 reminds us that God has redeemed his people from the bondage, not just of Egypt, but also the bondage of sin, so that they might be his own possessions. And so God called fathers and mothers to exercise authority on his behalf so that the children might live long in the land that he has promised and he has given and that we would enjoy his peace and security in fellowship with God and their neighbor. And the same applies to us today. God has redeemed us from our sin and he has placed us in a community. So God intends for us to live and develop in the community he has placed us in. Where we are free from fear and where we can learn to live in fellowship with him and under his authority. So God chooses to take care and guide us through people he has placed in authority over us here on earth. So they are our parents and that's why it's very important that we listen to them because parents are placed in a position of authority over us by God so that we might live a life of peace and freedom so that we will lead a good life and when rules are made that we consider restrictive and not so right I know we get quickly annoyed and ask why we should follow them but we must all live disciplined lives in submission to those whom God has placed over us. Basically it is our parents job to teach us how to live in obedience to God. So as you consider the responsibility of honoring your parents remember that your goal as a Christian child should be to let your father and your mother be glad and let her who bore you rejoice. This verse can be found in Proverbs chapter 23 verse 25. There are greater blessings that are given to those who honor their father and their mother. Without such honor, a society will really crumble. So God is pleased 
to see children obedient to their parents. God promised long life in the land the Lord your God has given to all of us. So try your best to be obedient to your parents without complaining about their weaknesses. It is not good to hurt them. Build up a strong communication with them and share your burdens. But most importantly, listen to what they have to say and help your parents in every way possible. Let them be glad and rejoice in you. Be honest and make them happy by doing little things for others and practicing kingdom values. One of the main things that we need to start right away would be to go to church as a family and serve God in everything you do as a family. May God bless you and I hope you will have a lovely week ahead. Let's listen to this hymn as our prayer for today. Lord, if we could, we would fill our hands with all the wonderful things you give us. Then we'd lift them up and give them back to you. Thank you.